everyone, it's Olivia, and today I'm gonna be giving you an update on what's been going on in my life. For all of you who watched my more recent vlogs, you were very well aware that I was in a wheelchair and I was feeling very sick. <laughs> so I am here to just explain why exactly, I'll just hit myself. I'm gonna explain why I was in a wheelchair because I tend to be in wheelchairs at Disney. Um, flashback Disney College program. So as I briefly explained in my vlogs, I was very sick. To give you an overview, I was sick for over four weeks. So I was sick for over a month and the doctors didn't really know why I was so sick at first. So basically what was wrong with me is I was extremely weak. I was so weak that I spent the first few weeks of being sick in bed. It took so much out of me just to sit up in a chair for five minutes. And I walked really slow. I walked the pace of a 92 year old actually. And it wasn't as if I ever lost my ability to walk. I just walked so slow that when Christy was visiting, I would just hold her back and I would get way too tired if I walked. So she pushed me out in a wheelchair. By the time you saw me in my vlogs, I was about three weeks into being sick. So I was feeling a little bit better. In the vlogs, I seemed pretty peppy and everything, but I was tired. I was really tired after making those vlogs and just sitting up in a wheelchair for so long. During this time, I went to urgent care five, six times. And I actually ended up going to the emergency room two times. Um, I've never watched so much Prices Right Through Network in my life. If you ever want to talk about Pioneer Woman, I watched seven episodes in one day. But the emergency room, they did tons of blood tests on me. They checked my vitamin levels, my iron levels. They checked if I to see if I had mono. They hooked up these electric things to me. They checked my heart. They ran x-rays. I was fine. Every single test they took. I was fine. Every time I would go to urgent care or the emergency room, they would tell me, well, we don't really know what's wrong with you. Uh, drink a lot of water and rest up. Hopefully you get better. Not like that was any help. But some doctors suggested something and it made me realize, okay, this is what it is. So the reason why I was so sick and I was so weak for over four weeks was because of stress. So apparently my body shut down due to stress. <laughs> Moral of the story, don't get stressed. <laughs> I honestly didn't even know that was possible, that your body could shut down that much from being stressed. I did not realize how stressed I was, but now looking back on it, it makes sense. I've been having a lot of issues with several things going on in my life, both with life, my life here, but also with my family. One of the reasons why I was so stressed out was because I was trying to plan out my future. So as far as my, li my life is here at the time, I, I gotta be honest, I was not sure whether I was gonna stay here at Disney World or not. I, I was not sure. Um, I love my life here, I really do. Um, but part of me was thinking, you know, I, I'm really far away from home. I am really far and um, I'm, my entire family is in San Francisco and I'm here and I, I love my life here. I'm doing very well in my, at my job. I love my job. I have the best team in the entire world. I'm literally living the dream because I'm living at Disney World. Um, I can go watch the Voices of Liberty whenever I want. But it's so hard to be away from home at the same time. And I've always missed my family while I was here um, on my Disney College program and during the about a year and a half that I've had here. I always miss my family, but it's never hit me so hard. Um, sorry. Uh, I talked about my family being one of the reasons uh, why I'm so hard at things going on at home. And it's because. Uh, so my grandma has stage four pancreatic cancer and. It's really hard being here when she's going through that and among other things going on with my family and I just want to be there to support them and I'm on the opposite side of the country and it's really hard to go home because it's a six hour flight just one way so it takes a day of travel to go home. It's a three hour difference and it's expensive and it's really hard being here to help her and I'm here um, even though I really love my life here. Um, I'm sorry, <laughs> I didn't, I told myself I wasn't gonna cry on camera, although let's be honest, I have a reputation for crying on camera, I did it all throughout my Disney College program. <laughs> on the bright side, um, I do have some good news. I found out that I'm extended an entire year, um, uh, with my 
with my current job. Um, as many of you know, I, I, I am a full-time cast member in every aspect, but I have a, an end date and it was supposed to end um, in the end of September, but I got extended a whole year. And you know what? I'm really happy. I'm, I'm, I'm just really happy. And I know it sounds contradictory to what I just said, but why I was able to be healed uh, after those four weeks of being sick is because I was open and I asked for help. I was getting ready to leave and pack up and go home, not just because my grandma has cancer, but also because I miss home and I frankly miss California. After having really long talks with my family and my friends here and my team at work, my Disney family, um, I realized that I need to do what's best for me and I can have um, a life here and also at home. And what I mean by that is I was so stressed out about the idea of moving home. I was happy to go see my family and the idea of being closer to my family, whether that be moving to Disneyland or um, moving home. But when I thought about moving back to California, I thought about how much I love my life here and I love what I've built here, um, not just with friends and my career and I'm I never felt more myself when I'm here and you know what that's okay I don't have to give that all up I've decided that I'm going to stay here and I'm going to make the most out of this wonderful wonderful job that I have and this dream that I have and make more of an effort to go home when I can um, it can it can be done and I'm so thankful to God that it can be done and that it's gonna be okay one thing I do want to ask of you through all of this is if you could help me and help those in need and help donate it to the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network. Um, it's a charity that helps do research to help find a cure for pancreatic cancer for cancer patients just like my grandma. And I had the link down below and I'd really appreciate it if you could donate even just a dollar to it. Um, if you're not comfortable um, donating to that charity, I ask that you please donate to any other charity of your choice to help pancreatic cancer patients or any other types of cancer or anything so we can help find a cure for this disease. The more that we spend the time to donate and work towards finding a cure for this disease, the closer we will be to that day where we find the cure. And um, it just would mean a lot to me. Um, thank you so much for watching everyone and I will see you in my next video. See ya.